So as Chris and Alan kind of walked through, you guys through here today, um, took the time to set everything up, clean everything up. Now we're gonna do a little bit of planning. We're gonna make a prescription um, for uh, one of your guys' field operations. So in the past couple of years, they've changed the name of that prescription creator. It used to be Agreein, now it's Talaris. Uh, name change, probably a merger acquisition somewhere in there, um, but same functionality. Um, so we have two different ways we can get to that prescription creator. At the top under plan, and then to that agronomy prescription creator. Um, but what I like to typically use would be to go back to the field and then click on that field specifically that you wanna choose. So we're gonna use this Levitz quarter that we've talked about here today. Um, and then I'm gonna click on that fourth icon, that prescription creator there at the bottom. Um, when Chris clicks on that, what this does from this page, it loads client farm field organization and boundary for that field. So it saves you guys some button pushes um, to get your first prescription loaded. Um, also on our side where we support your guys' accounts on the back end, if we go the other way, it has to load everybody's account first and then we can select your guys'. So, um, so client farm fields needed. Um, a prescription we do have to have a boundary for. That boundary is what um, it bases the lat longitude and the points for that prescription to make its changes from. So got to either make the boundary like Chris and those guys showed this morning, either a driven boundary or drawn boundary. Um, if it's your first one, maybe make it a little bit wider so that you do not run into any areas where it goes to a zero rate. Um, next step would be down there at the bottom, that choose layer feature. We've got five different options. Um, we can do an average yield, so taking into account multiple years of yield data. Um, the next would be a field operation, so if you have a previous operation that you wanna build your prescription off of, say an application map or something else, um, you can use that field operation. Um, freeform zones would be manually creating the prescription, so drawing the zones in, which we're gonna show you today. Um, fourth one down is a big one that you guys have asked for in the last couple years, is the ability to take an existing prescription and edit those zones. So say you change your fertilizer program or change your seeds uh, or change your seed, um, you can use those same zones but change the rates um, in those areas. And then the last one there, that soil survey would be your uh, soil classification types. So it can bring in a map, you can overlay that and uh, use that to kind of define your zones. So Chris is gonna click on freeform zones and then at the bottom right, what does that say, save or next? Next, next in green at the bottom right. Um, gonna bring us to a map, see our boundary of that field. Um, same kind of button features here on the left hand side, zoom in, zoom out, um, layers icon there. If we wanted to see our soil uh, type, we could click on that and it'll show us the layers uh, for those soil features. Um, but to actually get into building those prescription zones, we're gonna click up on the top right to manually edit zones and click OK. And we've got four different features here on the right hand side to make your prescription. So the first one I'll, I'll say will be a line or a point type of uh, uh, shape. So if we wanted to split this field east and west, we could put, or sorry, north and south, the other, the other east and west I meant. Um, so if we wanted to split it north and south, um, Put one point at the top, drag your other to the bottom, click on it, it's gonna give us two zones. Um, next one down would be our polygon feature. So that would allow you to do say like a check strip or an area that where you wanted to do say a trial within your prescription. Um, so draw square, shape, rectangle, whatever it might be if you wanted to say have a, a, a check strip or a zero rate there to see what it is. Um, you can use that tool to add that. Um, next would be our circle feature. So with this one, first one here, you're gonna zoom in to like your pivot point. Um, find that pivot point, click on it, and then you're gonna use your mouse to drag that out to the end of your wetted radius. So you click to accept it, um, and then you get your zones. Let's say you made a mistake and wanna change something, we can use this little back arrow here at the bottom and that's gonna undo your uh, last two, I think. If you click it twice, it's gonna bring us back to where we just split. So um, that is a little bit of an undo feature there. Um, last circle feature there on the right hand side would be um, more of, I'll say a pivot specific one. So if you know your true wetted radius, you can type that in. 
Um, the lat and longitude, if you do have the, that for your pivot point, um, you can use that information here. Otherwise, it's just basing the center um, based off of how that boundary is drawn. So um, just be aware it might not be as accurate if say your boundaries aren't accurate. So Chris has, let's see, six zones drawn there now. Um, if this is what we want to utilize, we'd hit create zones. And then that's going to show us the area associated with each of those. So as Chris hovers over um, any of these, say one through seven, I guess we've got seven zones. I can't count today. Um, as Chris hover, hovers over each of them, it shows the different uh, uh, zones on the map. It highlights them in kind of a white or a lighter color um, as you go over them. So let's say we wanted to merge the top two corners and um, you could click on them to select them. So that's gonna check mark them over here. And then you can either use this merge selected zones or that merge feature on the map to help eliminate um, or merge those zones. So top two are now merged. Let's say we wanna do the same for the bottom two. Click on them on the map, it highlights them in blue and then click merge. So it just kind of helps streamlining um, what you have under that pivot. So um, we did have this boundary was drawn, say with a uh, field drive to that pivot point. You can see we've got 0.008 acres for a slice of a zone. Um, make sure you get those selected and merged with one of the zones. Otherwise, when your planner does go across it and you don't have anything assigned to that, it will put down a zero rate for that zone. So once you get your zones merged um, and kind of define the way you want to, um, then you can select your products. What's nice about the prescription creator is we have the ability to do multiple prescriptions from this same zone. So if you wanted one for anhydrous, one for seeding, and one for your fertilizer program, um, we could do it all from this one screen here. Um, so, do a, so to do a seeding one, we'd click on add variety. You'd choose your variety. So this is why it's important to fill those products out ahead of time so that they're already in the list to be utilized. Um, then it shows you your zones that are associated with that prescription. And this would be where you would put in your populations. So number one was our top side, I believe, or bottom side. Yeah, bottom side. Number two is our top side. So Chris did 28 for it. And then we've got the left and right halves of the pivot to fill out. So it gives you an estimate of total number of seeds applied there at the bottom. Now, if we wanted to make, say, an anhydrous one for the same uh, zones, we can click on add fertilizer choose that product from our list, and then put in your rates for those zones that you have defined. Um, one thing as we've done these classes, um, once you have, say like your top corners merged, we don't have a way to unmerge those. Um, so it would be easier to just redraw that uh, circle. So that's just one, one question we've had when we've gone through the prescriptions anyways. Uh, there at the top, you are able to name that, rename that file type. So if you just wanted to uh, narrow it up so that you can find it easily on the display, um, you can rename that. Um, we're abbreviating it as David City because we've done several of these classes. So um, there's plenty of prescriptions for us to choose from. So helps you find it on the display, helps you find it on the file side of things. Um, once you get the prescription the way you want it, uh, click on save at the bottom right. It's gonna give you two options. Uh, you have the option to do save and new if you wanna create another prescription or save and close, close if, it is, if you're done and completed. So Chris click save and close. That's gonna take us to our files page. So right there at the top, the last prescriptions that you made uh, should default uh, to the operations center. Um, Let's say you made the prescriptions today. You're gonna to go out April, start of May, gonna plant, call Dallin or Chris and say, hey, my prescriptions aren't showing up. Where are they at? We made those right after the class. 
Here on the left-hand side, it defaults to the last 30 days, so you may have to change that date range to a custom date range so that you've got, um, so that you're looking at the right time period for when you made those prescriptions. Um, we got several options to get those prescriptions out to the display. Uh, check mark them to select them. We can click download here on the left. You got two options there. Uh, first one's gonna put it in a zipped file, gonna take some extra steps to get it in the right format to get it to the display. Uh, second one there, that data manager, is going to put it in the right format, open the data manager, put it onto your flash drive for you. Um, did you guys do work planner? Okay. So we'll say this is good. Next step would be better. So we can transfer it to equipment using JD Link. So uh, we're gonna send our uh, combine or our planner files over the combine because that's what we have up here today. But um, so you check mark those files, send it with JD Link. Those files would populate on the display. You'd click import and then assign them to those fields. Um, if you have prescriptions that you wanna clean up from previous years, set them to that date range, check mark them, click the archive just like what you did on land um, if we wanted to filter to see just prescriptions, we could come here to the left-hand side, choose that file type, uh, scroll down until we see the prescription level, and then um, should change that file type there, the third from the right-hand column to just prescription. So you can check mark those, retire them, um, so that you don't have to dig through as many to find which ones you're gonna use this season.